First, you can pick these quests up after you unlock Ocean Avenue. After you complete the mission, Plumbing the Depths. Come back to the board right here. Laura and Jamal should pop up first. Once you pick up Laura, you'll have to head over to Venice. She is located at the police station right here on the map. You'll have to open this maglock door by shooting the power supplies here and here. Then you'll have to go through and pick up some other items like a clipboard in order to find the officer that has the keys to Laura's cell. After you find the objects, Chief Malloy is over here at the Venice hot dog shop. Take him out and use his keys to run back to the station and see if Laura is still alive. Go ahead and take out zombie Laura and the mission will be complete. So Jamal used to work security at Halper and Hotel, so we will need to activate the quest and head there. Once you get there, you'll have to head over to these security guard huts. There's another maglock door. Go ahead and follow the cables and shoot the two power supplies. One on the outside of the door here and one on the inside. In here will be the item you need to pick up. From the first hut, go ahead and slide under the fence. Head back towards Halper and Hotel and go past this bus area. The hut will be in the back right here. Go ahead, take out the maglogs again and pick up the next item. Next, the game will show you where to go, but you have to head back towards Bel Air. You'll come to the sinkhole and just go ahead and take out all the zombies. And this is where you meet Jamal. Go ahead, pick up his keys and check out his stash. Make sure all the zombies are gone and the mission will be complete. You'll have to play another mission or two of the main quest, but once you come back, Pablo should spawn right here. For Pablo, again, we'll need to head over to Venice Beach. First stop, Rosa's Tattoo right here. Pick up the paper. Next, for the protein powder, we'll need to go over to Muscle Beach Nutrition by the gym area. You'll need to restore power, so go ahead and go around back to this auto shop to find the circuit breaker. The breaker is right here on the office shelf. After you take out the zombies, you'll need to throw the circuit breaker over the fence, holding L2 and tapping R2. You'll need to climb the fence either by using this dump store right here or you can use the white cargo van on the other side once you restore power go ahead and go to the very back of the store and enter through this garage door by hitting the switch once inside you want to pick up this note right here in front of the store finally head all the way down to doc martin's green place back here by the parking lot where you fought the inferno zombie boss once you get down here dark marid should spawn right here in a green hoodie take him out pick up the key and go through the back watch out for the booby traps here that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's ridiculous. In here, you will find what's left of Pablo. Pick up the phone and finish the mission. The Davis mission is also in Venice Beach by the buses at the front of the town right here. After walking, there is a note you need to pick up in this bus right here. And then the cell phone you have to pick up is right over here. Now we have to fast travel over to the pier. After you get there, follow the quest over to this bus stop by the stores. Here you will need to fight Crusher Davis. After you take him out, pick up the phone and complete the quest. After you pick up Greg, you'll actually stay in Ocean Avenue for this one. Activate the quest and head over to the police station right here. You'll have to call the elevator, but first take out some zombies. Then when you're ready, hop down into the elevator and you'll find this parking garage. So you'll have to activate the power in this room. Hop up to the next level right here on the right side. You'll also need this circuit breaker right here in the back of the truck. You're gonna run into some zombies, take them out and then head into the hallway here. Put the circuit breaker in. Go back down and you'll have to take out several more hordes to free Greg. After the zombies are gone, the shutter will open, and guess what happens next? Greg dies. What? Definitely at this point, I recommend having all the main quests done so that the rest of the quests will spawn. Next, you'll probably pick up Rainier or Nadia. For Rainier, activate the quest and head over to the corner here at Ocean Avenue. He was one of the test subjects, so you'll need to take out all the zombies. I'm sorry we did this to you. I'll give you peace.
Once they're gone, pick up the note that the slobber drops and fast travel over to Hollywood Boulevard. If you're lucky, you might accidentally get the not my full form trophy like me. Head into the metro station and you will find him in the supply closet. Next, you'll have to take out all the zombies. Then go ahead and reassure him that you're there for him. Hey, Rainier, you okay? Next, you'll need to find the key for a Rainier. Pick up his incident report on the shelf in the so utility room. Dumb. Next, you'll find Lenny on the lower level of the train platform. After you take him out, pick up the key and head back up to unlock the door. Unfortunately for him, Rainier turns into a burster. Mission complete. After you pick up Nadia, go ahead and fast travel to the metro. Following the quest to this hallway and picking up the note on the wall, we will have to find all four code numbers, which I'll mark on the map for you right here if you want to pause the video and take a screenshot. The first code is right here in the first hallway on the wall. If you need to see the map, go to the quest menu and tap L3 to view journal entries. The next number, two, is found right here down the hallway. Right outside that hallway in the train car is the next number, eight. When you get in the train car and look up and hold square, to interact. The last number six can be found deeper in the previous hallway. Keep going and you'll find the boiler room. The code is right here in the center of the room near the pillars. Once you interact with all four Look numbers, the open the door and Time go ahead and take Nadia. out Nadia. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> Finish the mission, pick up the last note here. Make sure you didn't hurt me. Pick up Steve and head over to Hollywood Studios. Search the set by searching these items right here. Someone's still brushing twice a day. Could be my guy. It actually took me a while to find the last one, but here is the answering machine that you have to interact with. Next, follow the quest over to Jimmy's trailer. Take out any zombies outside and open the door. Go back here and pick up Sergio's phone to continue. Finally, travel over to Beverly Hills and look for Steve over here at his apartment. After you talk with him, you'll have to lure each zombie back to Steve and take them out in front of him. Wait, who are you? You're not Sergio. Hi, I'm Amy. <laughs> After you finish the last one, talk to Steve and finish the mission. Got him. Now that's what I call Is this the part where Steve dies? Looks like Steve actually lives this time. Last but not least, Shane. Shane was the last one for me. Go ahead, pick up the quest and head over to Venice by Muscle Beach and find the lifeguard hut. You'll need to pick up the note here and then head over across the beach to the second one. Once you're here, you'll have to clear out a bunch of zombies. Find Nell, the lifeguard, and pick up the note that she drops. Fast travel over to the pier. Once you're there, head down and you'll find TJ the lifeguard right outside. Take him out. Then you'll actually find out that Shane escaped by boat. So two out of the nine missing persons survived. Hey, so do you like trophy hunting at all? That's actually what my YouTube page is all about. You should definitely consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so you could check out all my platinum adventures. That's all I got for you in this video. See you later.